let's talk a little bit about the history of the aronia berry bush so you understand where it's come from and how it ended up as a new crop in Iowa. In the mid-1800s, a gentleman from Russia took the aronia bush to his homeland. At that time, he selected aronia for different qualities that allowed it to become a more productive plant. This gentleman's name was Ivan Maturin, and he crossed the aronia berry bush with a mountain ash tree to produce a larger, more luscious fruit. So the varieties that we know today for agricultural production are from this lineage that has gone over to Russian and Eastern Europe and now returned to the United States. Now in the Midwest, there are hundreds of farms that are growing aronia berries. It's important to take a step back because many people want to just grow one or two bushes in their yard. And so for these people, aronia can be a very productive backyard plant. Aronia berries develop during a three year period. At first, you begin to get one handful from each bush, but by year three, you'll start to see significant yield on an aronia bush. Aronia bushes can produce five pounds in year three. Depending on one's goals, aronia can be grown for self-enjoyment or as a commercial commodity. A farmer can use the efficiencies of a tree planter to plant the aronia bushes. Production systems can be very extensive, even utilizing drip line irrigation and covers in row to prevent the use of herbicides and pesticides. When planning your aronia plantation, it's important to consider your row spacing. Some people want to use spaces within the row that turn into a hedgerow so they could plant the bushes two feet between each bush. Generally, two feet to four feet between each bush will allow the plants to grow and eventually merge together into a hedgerow, which is important when mechanically harvesting. A hedgerow will allow the harvester to move down the row without losing fruit as it passes from bush to bush. For the plantation that intends to mechanically harvest, it's important that rows are 12 or 13 feet between the rows. Also, it's relevant that you need to have turnaround space at the end of your rows for large equipment to move in and out of your plants. In the Midwest, almost any soil type can be productive for aronia bushes. A researcher on the East Coast once said to me that any soil in the Midwest will work better than the best, most lush soil on the East Coast. I'm no soil scientist, but this has something to do with the cation exchange of our Midwest soils where the aronia bush is native. Most often, aronia plantations think about their layout in a north-south orientation. This allows the sunlight to maximize on the bushes. Also, it's important to consider the slope. Some farmers may choose to use less productive farmland in order to grow their aronia bushes, but if the hills are too steep, you may not be able to use large equipment to go up and down the rows. Aronia seedlings can now be found in most nurseries. Inquire with your nursery or nursery catalog. They can usually locate agricultural varieties of aronia seedlings. For those who choose to propagate their own cuttings, you can do this in the fall or spring. You can take cuttings with two inches of one year growth and five inches of new growth and use those to place in the ground in the fall. If you fall propagate, do it early enough in the fall that those cuttings will have a chance to establish before cold weather sets in. When it comes time to market your aronia berries, there are many resources available through the Midwest Aronia Association. There you will find growing and marketing advice and also recipe books for how to use aronia berries. They also help farmers organize to host field days where you can share ideas and learn from other growers. One of the most important things to consider when planning your aronia farm is a business plan. Yes, it will be three years before your aronia berries come into production, but that can go by very quickly. Let's talk a little bit about harvesting and processing of the aronia berry fruit. There are several different ways you could harvest the fruits. At first, any farm may consider hand-picking berries. 
When you hand pick aronia berries, the fruit is more clean, less stems and leaves are present. Taking these harvested fruits and cleaning them further often requires a group of people standing around a tub or basin and picking stems off of each berry. It can be very time consuming, but also the fruit become very clean with little processing. These smaller quantities of fruit can be stored in refrigeration for several weeks without any deterioration. Once you decide it's time to put your fruit in the freezer, rinse them off and let them dry and then put them in a freezer bag and they will keep for one to two years with no problems. For larger production systems, when mechanical harvesting is used, there may be significant amounts of leaves and stems that are coming out of the field along with the aronia berries. These totes of berries may go into a processing line which has several components to further clean the fruit and make them available as an ingredient for larger scale processors. For larger scale production, mechanical harvesters are used. There are several styles of mechanical harvesters. An over the row harvester goes down the row, shaking the bushes, Conveyors underneath the harvester catch the berries and convey them to the back into totes. The stackable totes are then removed from the field and can be trucked by a semi, approximately 30,000 pounds per semi load. Berries in these quantities move into a processing facility that needs to be certified with the Department of Health and Inspections. The next step in processing may include a leaf blower where leaves, stems, or even insects are blown from the berries. The next step is a destemmer. A mechanical stemmer pulls the stems from the berries and the berries are then put into a wash tank. A wash tank allows the berries to be sanitized so they are germ free when they go to the next step. The next step could be a sizing mechanism, something to sort the berries or pull smashed berries that are not in as good a condition. Finally, berries are moved to an inspection or boxing table. Boxing may be 10, 20, 30 pound boxes or 1500 pound boxes that would most likely be destined for a juice company. There are many aronia berry products coming onto the market. From juice concentrates to baked goods that use aronia berry as an ingredient. Due to the tart flavor of the aronia berry, Maybe one of the most exciting products for whole fruit would be a sweetened aronia berry. And there are multiple products on the shelves now that have a sweetened aronia berry. At whatever scale you're interested in growing aronia, there's a place in it for everybody. Whether it's in your backyard, having a bush that you can share the fruits with family and friends, or if it's a larger production system and your farm is diversified in aronia berries, whereby providing a part of your farm income as the aronia berry industry continues to grow, there are many different directions it will evolve. Whether you have just one or two bushes in your yard, or you're involved in a farm that is producing larger quantities, the millions of pounds that are now being produced in the Midwest will soon be tens of millions of pounds. It's an exciting time to be a farmer, and diversifying into aronia berries is an opportunity to be a part of that diversification and balance that we need in our world. So as you consider being more involved in the aronia berry industry, know that you are part of a large community of growers that are excited to bring this new crop to the consumer.